Uh, hi, this is Chris with Mr. IoT, and in this video we're going to walk through how to install the Fanoop driver on a Windows machine. First step is you have to go to Microsoft and download .NET Core 3.1, and the x86 .NET runtime installer is sufficient. So run and install that. Next step is to go to GitHub, Ladder 99, Fanoop driver, and when you're on the main page here, you want to go to releases and download the zip file. Once the zip file is downloaded, because it does come from the internet, you want to right click, go to properties and check this on block. Then what you want to do is, you can open it as a zip file. And the installer is going to be looking for this driver on the C drive, which we can always change. And so we drag this whole folder onto the C drive. Um, inside of here, you have Fanuc driver. And inside of here, you have all the libraries necessary to run. The runtimes contains uh, some of the dependencies in .NET. The config example is your configuration. Well, you're going to configure which CNCs you want to connect to. Fanuc EXE is the executable that can be run as a console or a Windows service. And there is one more file. Or right, there's the install.bat that we're going to look at. And there's also a, the nlog config. So if we open nlog config, and you can open this with notepad. The nlog config calls out the, the log file, which is going to be in the same directory. It's going to be called driver.log. And it calls out some of the rules, uh, what logging level we want. So sometimes I'm going to ask you to change this to trace, uppercase. And this will log the most verbose information possible, which will uh, assist me in troubleshooting but for now, what we could do is change it to debug. Uh, we don't have to save it. Make sure. And then let's go and in the config example, we can edit that also with notepad. All right, so here's where we're going to configure each machine and there's a collection of machines each one has an id All right so let's change this one to windows um let's see enabled is true we want to actually collect data from this machine the type stays the same uh, the strategy is going to remain the fanuc multi-strategy for now the handler is going to be fanuc one this is fine the transport, we're going to go with MQTT for now. And the next section is where you actually define the machine-specific connection. So here I have uh, this machine on this IP address. And focus is listening on 8193. Then the strategy itself is going to call out what kind of data we want to collect. So we can start with machine info, alarms, messages, state data, production data, Axie data and spindle data. If sometimes uh, there's issues with one of these collectors, we can disable them or re enable them by removing the hash mark. So, right now we're going to G code data, we're going to leave off, uh, it's not necessary. Then there's a section for defining the MQTT transport, we're going to connect to this broker 10.1.10.210 anonymously we're going to send all the data there and that is it for configuring this file then what we want to do is actually install the windows service so we have to let me show you the install.batch file Install.batch file is going to call S, uh, SC, which is service controller in Windows, is going to create a Fanuc driver service. It's going to, which is going to start up Fanuc.exe, passing in that nlog file 
and the config example file and it's going to be set to start automatically so if we can run a command prompt as administrator then cd over into ladder 99 fanuc driver and run install.bat Okay, specified service already exists. I already created the service, that's fine. Otherwise it would have created the service. And if we go to services.msc, you can right click, run as administrator. And if we scroll over to Fanuc driver, okay, it's set to automatic and it's running as local system. Um, what I like to do with these services is actually run them as automatic is fine uh, sometimes you're gonna have to run them automatic delayed start mm, but you shouldn't have to so automatic should be fine and then log on what I like to do is actually pick the network service account uh, how do we find this thing network service account uh, we're going to empty out the passwords. It's going to set its own password. And now this service is going to run with much less privilege than the local system, which has much more uh, local system privilege, which is unnecessary. Okay, then when we start the driver, let's just make sure we have uh, cleared out the logs. Okay, there's no logs, so we can start the driver. Okay, and it won't start. Right, okay, because and this is a good example of how to remove a um, driver as well. I had this uh, executable pointed to a different path. So what I have to do is close this. And to remove the driver, we would, from a command prompt, call sc delete fanuc driver. Okay, it's deleted. Now, when we run install bat, like we should, It'll create the proper driver that's pointing to the um, correct executable. And we can actually verify that here, which is Fanuc in, la in uh, ladder 99 before I had the path different. All right, so same steps. We're going to, oh, we have to start services, MSC as admin. All right. Um, okay, let's go in here. No, this is not the right one. I want the Fanuc adapter. Okay, Fanuc adapter, log on. Change this again to network service. Advanced to find everything on your local machine. Network service, okay, okay. Clear these guys out. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to start it up. And inside the ladder 99 Fanuc driver folder, you're going to see two log files. Driver internal is the logging system's internal logs, which we don't care about, but we care about the driver log. So we set it to debug. So we're going to see a little more verbose output, which is going to go through what machine is being added. The transport's getting created. It's connecting to the broker, which is actually connected. And uh, the strategy is going to be created, and then each collector is going to be created. Then the handler, which takes care of um, transforming the collected data into more meaningful information, the strategy is going to be initialized, and the strategy when the driver starts up, it tries to connect to the CNC in order to determine the number of paths, the number of axes, the number of spindles, so that it can start collecting that data and knows where to stick it. So this is a warning because we, don't have, we weren't able to connect to the CNC. So let me show you, and it's gonna keep retrying. Um, on this computer, I have the Fanuc simulator 
So if we start up an example, okay, let this guy start up. And then now if you look at the driver log file, um, it was pending, but then it connected and it's actually configuring all these observations, calling call them veneers. The strategy is initialized and started and it's running. So what else do we have to look at? Um, if we look at, say, where's my process explorer? Process explorer. Um, so it's running, it's collecting data, and we can look at its TCP connections. Uh, it has connections both to the broker and it's creating and destroying connections to the actual Fanuc machine. So every time uh, that it collects data, which is configurable, right now it's every second, it connects to the machine, collects the data, disconnects, connects to the machine, this collects the data, disconnects, and sends it out to MQTT. I wonder if we can look at, can we look at the network traffic here? I don't think we can. No, so it's running. Uh, let me start up an MQTT tool to let's take a look at the broker. <clears throat> uh, okay, all right, let's bring this client into view. So it, all the data is going to go into the Fanuc topic and then be broken down uh, with the machine ID. The machine ID we set up for this guy is example of sim windows. So here in the example of uh, alarm, you can see that the alarm is active, which is true on the control. And in this example, the alarm is for path one, uh, axi X, the number of the alarm, the message of the alarm, the type of the alarm, which translates to this. And, you know, basically, let's say we reset this guy, right? So, oops. If we look back at the alarm section, it's updated and the alarms are empty. Okay. Uh, what else? So, right, sometimes uh, I'm going to ask you to turn up the logging to verbose. So let's go through that example. We have to edit the configuration, open with notepad, and that's not it, not this configuration. The end log configuration. And log. Turn this up to trace. And this is going to trace every single logging class. Okay, save that. And then we want to restart the service. Okay, now if we go and look at driver log going to keep growing rapidly. Um, we can see that it's actually going to output everything. And this is right, this is kind of where the magic happens because um, Fnuc Focus is, is awesome. I mean, it has hooks into everything. Uh, but that's also the problem that it's got too many hooks into everything. So deciphering all this data is uh, challenging, but it helps to make the driver better. All right, so let's, um, and this driver log is actually going to get split up and limited to, I don't know, I think it's like five files or 
Uh, let's see, we could actually see that in and log and log config. the defined here file name data uppercase message and this might be a change that we we'll need to make is actually make sure that the logging doesn't get out of control all right let's uh, put this back to info and save this guy and restart the service All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Press the like button.